Believe me, your aging process is almost... will not progress. Your cellular age will almost remain stag stagnant for a long period of time. I knew somebody who went on thousand and eight days of only one fruit. Some of the tests they have done on me and uh, <laughs> you know, they are saying that I'm... my cellular age is twenty-five. In thousand and eight days, she came out like she was twenty years younger. There is something called as viruddha ahara. That means, if you eat one thing and put another thing which works opposite to that, then in your system there is a war. Eat something very fresh for one week, eat something which is processed and kept for one month, two months and then eat it, you will see the level of alertness in the system, you will notice it in your experience. But it is happening at the cellular level, it is happening in terms of... we call this ojas, there is no English word for that. If you create sufficient ojas, which is a non-physical dimension of energy, if every cell in your body is wrapped in this, Believe me, your aging process is almost... will not progress. Your cellular age will almost remain stag stagnant for a long period of time. Some of the tests they have done on me and uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they are saying that I'm... my cellular age is twenty-five. Well, I still am like twenty-five, I'm maintaining the same level of activity, I'm maintaining the same weight, same everything. This is not some miracle. Every human being is capable of this with some simple attention to fundamental things. Going further in terms of food, there is something called as viruddha ahara. That means, if you eat one thing and put another thing which works opposite to that, then in your system there is a war. You know digestive process is largely between acids and alkalines and all this stuff. For example, you eat meat which is fatty. If you ate it by itself, it may not cause that much damage. But you ate that with rice and ghee, you call that biryani and you ate it. Now the damage is big because these two things will not go together. This is why any... any non-vegetarian food and milk and milk-related food were never mixed because the moment you mix it, it will go opposite to each other and you create a battle within yourself. In the yogic culture, food should not... should not remain in your stomach bag for more than two and a half hours. Within two and a half hours, it should have moved out, you must be feeling empty stomach. Hunger will not come, empty stomach will come. And that is good, we want our stomach to be always empty, because in an empty stomach, everything works well. Eating ghee has been a part of Indian tradition. Leaving that aside, the importance of ghee is, it keeps the alimentary canal clean. See, one important aspect of being physiologically and psychologically healthy is, you must have a clean colon. If you go to an Ayurvedic doctor or a Siddha Vaidya, if you have any kind of problem, even if you say you're mentally disturbed, first thing that they do to you is, you have sleepless nights, first thing they do to you is to purge you. Because a clean colon is vital for all these things. So one who consumes ghee in a... in a proper manner, that person's colon will always be clean because nothing sticks there, nothing stays there for long periods of time. Today, colon cancer, intestinal cancer are becoming so big. Uh, I would say it is not that you can prevent this absolutely, but the incidence would be much lower if there is a certain amount of consumption of ghee. And the ghee must be of the right quality. I don't know what commercial ghees that people are eating today, but if it is properly made from cow's milk or even buffalo's milk, if the ghee is made, it has many important uh, benefits. One particular benefit is that it... Uh, this is because you are saying it's an Ayurvedic conference, I think I can take the liberty of saying this. It enhances the aura within the system. Mm. The cellular aura will go up and you will have a, a higher sense of aliveness in the system, which becomes visible in the way you are to people. It's not just by eating ghee. At the same time, if you eat ghee and carbohydrates together, if you ghee and sugar together, then it adds as fat. But if you eat just ghee, 
or just with a small morsel of food that you eat ghee in the beginning, then it works more as a lubricant. Body's ability to digest ghee is very low when ghee goes in by itself. But when it is mixed with something else and goes, it tends to add fat. So in terms of sedentary life that you, the question had the sedentary life issue, that is relevant only when you're mixing it with sugar and carb. Otherwise, ghee does not make you fatten up in any way. It works more as a lubricant in the alimentary canal. I knew somebody who went on thousand and eight days of only one fruit. They were, this person went on orange. Only oranges for one thousand and eight days, this lady ate. She was full of ailments when she started. She was a diabetic, high blood pressure, and I don't know, they show, told me a list of problems that she had, hep thyroid is serious, very thyroid issues, overweight. In thousand and eight days, she came out like she was twenty years younger and uh, full of vitality, all ailments gone, totally. This is one person I am saying, please don't go on just oranges, we'll run short of oranges or at least move to Florida. Yes, fruit will make a wonderful difference, especially in today's world, it's very important because we value a human being in the work areas, I'm saying. We value a human being for their brain power, not their brawn power, unless you're on WW whatever nonsense, okay? <laughs> so, for this, fruit will make a huge difference for sure. And ecologically, it's the most sensible thing to do. Between fruit, and meat. For one person to survive, let's say that you have to survive on just meat, then approximate calculation is, we will need fifteen thousand liters of water to produce meat for one person for one year. If you go on fruit diet, we will need three hundred liters of water. <laughs> you should, all the rivers will flow once again.